Well, um, right now, it's, we're, today is Friday. We've been out here for a week now. Um, and the, as far as I'm concerned, the government is very silent. Um, the president is very silent as to where the government stands on this matter. I know that there is a, the, 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 the police and so they're doing their investigations, but based on the allegations, for less in other parts of the world, um, the minister would have been fired. For less in other parts of the world, the minister would have been asked to pack his bags and leave, um, leave the ministry. But here in Guyana, I think it's almost as if the government is hoping and waiting and praying that the, 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 the girl that was brave enough to come forward recant her story so they can go on the mountain and say, well, you see, he wasn't charged with anything, so he can remain there. And I think as a society, we have to expect and demand more of our leaders. We have to expect and demand more of those of, who decide and choose to hold high office and who it is that we, uh, we elect to hold high office. Because when it comes to matters of this nature, and matters such as rape, abuse, um, uh, using your office, and if it is that you look at, at what, what the young lady said happened and the fact that he used state resources to, to, to go through these processes and, and, and to um, attack the young girls in a lot of these villages and these communities. And so I think as a society, we need to do more, we need to demand more, and, and we have to expect higher and more of our elected officials. And the one way of doing that is to show that you are against what you have heard thus far and by showing that is by coming out here and protesting what has happened and, 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 and the way in which the government has chosen to be silent on the matter. Thank you very much, Talia.